In this holy month of Ramadan, we meet Mohammed Abdallah Kent at this mosque in Nairobi. Just like Muhammad Ali, he too was born a Christian but converted. He made me to change my name, to change my boxing style. And so Ali's death left Kent inconsolable. The first thing which I had, I shed tears. I, I only, I've only shed tears twice in my life. When my mother passed, passed, passed away and Muhammad Ali. Because I, I was recalling what he did for me. They met in 1980 when Ali visited Nairobi. So when I sat down, then I said, oh, I relaxed. It's when the chairman of Kenya Professional and Kenya Amateur Boxing Association, Honorable Mazin Madoka, came to me and he just started being humble. He asked me, Mr. Kent, please, we want you to spar with Muhammad Ali. And all the boxers, they have refused to, to, to spar with him. My heart was trembling because I knew how good he was. I asked for a, for a kit, and I didn't. So I went in. But I went in with the two mind that if he hit me so hard, I'll take the gloves there and then come out. The bout was called to a draw, but not before he had flawed Ali and then taken a beating. I was almost quitting because there were two blows which he he gave me after I had hit him until he, he went down. Then I, I clinched him in the process of, of sparring. I clinched him. I told him, you are hurting me. Then instead of comforting me, he told me, guard yourself. Guard up. I'm not going to be your, your teacher. Guard up. You have to guard up. That interaction was brief, but its effect long-lasting. Kent was given a hero's welcome when he visited America the next year. And Ali helped Kent's daughter win a place studying medicine at an American university. He says Ali's advice always stayed with him. If you are a heavyweight boxer, you have to, you have to be very smart in attacking and be very smart in defending yourself. And your legs, you have to be very fast. When Muhammad Ali visited Kenya in 1980, boxing was a flourishing sport. And even as Abdullah Kent mourns the loss of one of the world's greatest boxers, he is also grieving at how far the standards of the sport have fallen in the country. It is our government. They should have the same system like ourselves during our time. We were being employed because of boxing. Like myself, I was employed with the Kenya breweries. Now there's nothing like that. Boxing needs money. And it needs something which keeps you busy, which you can at least feed yourself. Now 63, Kent lives in a poor suburb after falling on hard times. Muhammad Ali has thrown his final punch, but his memory will be long cherished by millions, especially those who shared a stage with the greatest. Salasin Karone, CCTV in Nairobi.